Hi everyone, Jose Farouk here with Trade Simple. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, this video I'm going to be going through um, how to trade breakouts, how to trade uh, when the price is consolidating and then the price actually does something. Uh, it starts uh, showing you some big wicks and big candles and how to trade those basically. Uh, we're going to be going through that. It happens every day in the market, uh, especially during open or high volume areas. Um, and how to trade that. It happens all the time and um, there's a few examples as to how uh, you could take advantage of those types of trades. Um, so let's take you through a few examples of um, what a breakout is number one um, and, and what a consolidation is. So how can you identify uh, when a breakout occurs. So this right here is a classic example of a breakout. Now when this happens, um, let's, take a, let's take a drawing to here. When this happens, a, a consolidation area is something that looks like, like this. <clears throat> a consolidation area is something that looks kind of like this. Uh, the price just goes sideways for a little bit of time and it creates a, a bit of a range so it goes up and then down and then up and then down so what you're looking for is when this price either breaks out of that up or down because price is eventually going to do that so you want to take advantage of those types of of trades when that occurs so in this particular case when this happened and you saw this big bearish bar kind of leaving that area here it comes back to that area and creates that old support right here which is right here creates a new resistance point and that is prime area for you to take a trade towards the direction that it broke out now this is consolidation and this is the breakout when it breaks out of that little box and when that happens see here this big bearish candle now it came here given that it came here it broke down and closed below that low right here what you want to do is you want to wait for it to come up but you also want some sort of confirmation that it's going to continue down and usually that type of confirmation comes from the fact that there are not too many bullish bars not too many big green bars that are coming back to that area what you want to do is you want to look for more bearish bars smaller wicks smaller candlesticks um, smaller wicks and exhaustion coming from uh, the lack of bullish activity so the lack of buying activity so you want to look at the candlestick patterns now here in this particular case you have a big bearish bar but it also had a big bullish bar here so you're still waiting for it to come down and see what it does in this area for you to uh, take a trade now you can take a trade at the bottom of any one of these candles start taking a trade um, let's say for example it started coming here and you could have taken a trade at the bottom of this bearish candle and put your stop loss at the high of the last um, swing and this particular area here would be a swing so once you take an entry at the bottom of this red candle you can ride it down all the way here so what the point of how to trade out of the consolidation zone is once it breaks out wait for it to come back to the last resistance not necessarily the breakout area but the last area that it showed support or resistance if it was going up so this is one case where it broke out downwards you waited for it to come down to uh, the old uh, support and you took a trade down now let's look, look at some other examples here so if we scroll here and we're just looking for a different uh, example for a breakout now here this is this is considered a consolidation zone now this these are large wicks large candles we're not doing any trades here unless you're a range bound trader now we could talk we're, we're going to talk about range bound trading in another video and how you can trade those but for the sake of this video um, let's take another box here and see where the consolidation zone is and roughly it's in this zone right here Okay, if you were to take this zone right here, we'll also put another one because there was another zone right in this area right here. All right, so when this happened, at this time, all this was doing was ranging. So you're not taking any trades here unless you're a range bound trader, of course. But if you're a breakout trader, you're not taking any trades here. What you're doing is waiting for it to break out. And in this particular case, the box broke up with this candle right here. So now either you're waiting for this candle, this uh, the next price or not any price to come down to this area, or you're waiting for it to create another zone here where you can watch it come down to that old resistance and start shooting off again and start making a trade. Now, in this particular area, there's not anywhere you can actually take a trade unless you, you're, you're a trader like I am and you see that there's resistance here because look, when the price comes up here, 
it bounced off sharply and it came back here and bounced off sharply meaning this is a resistance zone right here and we'll put a we'll put a line right here this is a resistance zone right there and let's change the color just in case change that to something we can see uh, we can see this color so we'll change it to that and as you can see when it came back and it broke that line right there you could take a trade for a few ticks right here when it came back here so it bounced off here that's resistance and when it broke that resistance what you're doing is you're expecting it to come down to that old resistance and then bounce up again so see it came back to that resistance line it, old resistance when it makes breaks when it breaks old resistance and it comes back to that resistance that's considered new support and at this point you can take a trade for however many ticks that you're targeting for okay now we're still waiting for the breakout trade to come back to a certain area where we saw that there was some uh, price action now in this particular case there was an area here you wouldn't trade that because this is this is an area that it could just come back here and then break down and go back down so you don't want to do any of that so here right at this area here this is going towards a downtrend but you're wait, waiting for it to bounce back so remember old resistance becomes new support so this is a good area for you to take a trade up to the upside and as you can see here if you had taken a trade here it would have been bouncing up now here's another example for 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 everyone that wants to trade uh support and resistance it came down here created a resistance point here came down broke that minor support a uh, minor resistance came down to that old resistance becomes new support and you can take a trade right here boom and that's a good 10 uh, 12 ticks right there okay now what you want to do is you don't want to necessarily take it at the touch of the candle that's a very ranging market uh, this time around um, so you don't necessarily want to trade all of these places right here now support and resistance is one of my best play ways to trade besides uh, my, our own strategy that we use but if you look at this right here now this is a good resistance uh, this is a good uh, support and resistance trade this price came up here and bounced from here look at that those long wicks showing that when the price came down here it sharply bounced back so this is a good area for you to put a line here and call that uh, a support now when it came back to that area like it did here it broke that area but it started coming back up here again now a lot of traders they would have continued trading to the downside here but the problem is you don't have enough proof here that this is going to continue down usually when you have a major support area like this break the, there are multiple um, uh, uh, bearish candles here before a new resistance area is taken where you can start taking a trade what happens here instead is once you start seeing that exhaustion and all these uh, bear, bullish candles come into place you can pretty much think that this is going to bounce off this area again which it did right here Okay, it bounced off this area and started sharply moving back up. And that's a really good trade to make. Now, here's another area where um, this was consolidated. This is pretty much consolidation right here from this point to this point. That's pretty much consolidation. So what you want to do is you want to wait for once that price comes back up here, you want to see what happened. Now, this wick touched that. See how that wick touched? And this long wick touched as well and boom you could just take it at the touch or at the close of this candle and uh, watch that two or three ticks that are sorry 10 or 15 ticks that you need to, to make in that in that trade so let's look at uh, some more markets here um, this is consolidation right here as well now when it broke that area you not necessarily have to wait till it gets back here because sometimes the candles are so big it won't even come back to this area what you want to do is you want to wait for another higher high in this particular case right here before you place a trade now this could be this is at 2010 so as you can see from the bottom here uh this is at eight o'clock so you're not pretty much not trading there and this right here is at 10 40 so this is probably where you want to start trading here in the morning and this is here is an area of consolidation as well uh, you can call that right here this is pretty much a consolidation area where it breaks out comes back to this resistance area and boom see how that went down so why wouldn't you take this trade right here why wouldn't you take anything because this also broke out to the downside but look at all these large wicks to the downside now when there are large wicks that shows indecision that shows that if the uh, that the market doesn't know where to go yet 
Okay, now it's just this candle right here looks like there are institutional traders that are taking out everybody's uh, stop orders here because a lot of people what they're doing is they're they're betting high so they think that this market's going to go higher and their stop loss is here so in market institutions they see those orders and this is called order profile now uh, um, and when that comes down here they take their stop orders out and continue going up but how can you trade this breakout here just like this so when it broke out with this long candle here now remember what's the difference between this candle and this candle the wick the wick on the downside shows that there's indecision still okay we don't know what where this market's going to go but this candle here showed that there is some decision even though there are bearish candles that are coming down here you see that there is there's a decision that this is going to continue going up for a little bit and what you want to do is you want to place a trade around in this area when it retraces and then you follow that up all the way up here okay so that's another breakout trade <coughs> excuse me and then when it starts coming up here this is a 450 uh, in the morning you don't want to really want to trade there um, and this is where you want to start taking trades here again so now here this is a point of, uh, of support that it bounced and it broke okay, when it broke here you're looking for this area right here to come uh, for the price to come back to this specific area right here and when it does that you could take a trade either at the touch or at the close of this candle and take your 10 or 15 ticks or whatever it is you need in order for you to get to your daily target. Um, and then it comes back and what it does is <coughs> this is a new area here pretty much right here. Okay, so that area it shows um, some some selling as soon as it gets to that area right here. But then see it broke out. When it broke out and came back here, you could take a trade right here, and boom, there's about 20 ticks right here for you to take. Okay, now if you're a scalper like I am, scalping they basically means um, you know uh, trading uh, for small amounts of ticks. I usually trade only eight to ten ticks, and I, I I'm caught. I call it for the day. I don't do long term trading, especially on a 10 minute chart. I do not do long term trading. Um, so that's an opportunity now for example another scalping technique and I'll go through this in another video is waiting for areas like like this where where the price comes off a certain area and bounces off so what I do is I put a line here in this vicinity because remember there are multiple areas here that I bounce off of so it bounced off here came down bounce off here came down bounce off here came down and then it came back here let's just say that you took the trade here all right if you took the trade here you could take that the amount of ticks that it gives you so it, it you take a trade at 28 it would have come down to let's say 20 19 so that's about nine eight, uh, nine or ten ticks okay i would have been in this thing for about five to eight ticks and it would have taken all my profit from there now see how it i drew the line it broke out from that line it came back and it met that old resistance with new support and it bounced back up look at that sharp bounce back up okay now that's how you have to trade when you're trading price action is exactly how i'm showing you here um, now look at this breakout right here okay it came down it, it didn't break out here but it did retrace back here for people that wanted to get in and then it just bounced back up right there and also right here when it broke out this when it broke out this resistance here we'll put a line here so you can visually see it when you broke out that resistance here with that candle look how it comes back here and you can place a trade anywhere here even if you think if this thing if this thing closed above this point then the probability of it retracing a little bit and then coming back up is high so what you want to do is you want to trade take a trade anywhere in that vicinity not necessarily on that line okay you want to trade a trade take a trade in this vicinity right here that's a little too big okay and we'll, we'll put it right here okay so you want to take a trade anywhere in that vicinity now if you take a trade right here just in case you can put your tr uh, tr uh, your your stop loss 10 ticks away for example and look for a 20 tick move and there's more than 20 ticks here so um there's that and then let's look for another one breakout trade because the, the market was moving a lot here not a lot of breakouts here um this is considered a breakout trade right here so if you were to put this is at 3 a.m. and usually it consolidates in the morning it gives you the zone of buying and selling so this was at 3 in the morning and it broke out right here okay from that zone now remember the reason why I put a box around there is it came back came here and then it broke and it hit here and then it kept on shooting off of that range now we can in fact make this a smaller box right here because remember it came down here and it created the range from that point now when it broke that point right here with this candle if you're a riskier trader you can wait for the retrace right here before you take a short trade from here down all the way here 
okay um, another area is if it came down you see all these wicks wicks is a very good indicator of where support and resistance is and a lot of times you can take trades based on just a wicks so if you have a wick to the upside that shows that there's resistance in that area and in this particular case all these all these wicks right here shows resistance and you can take a trade to the downside just based on these wicks okay anywhere in this area you can take a trade um, when you start seeing the wicks now when you start seeing the wicks is pretty much with this candle here and then this uh, this candle here I'll just move this box a little bit and this candle here so when you start seeing those two wicks right here if you're a little riskier like I am you can take a trade from the next candle all the way down here or all the way down to the next support point or a fixed uh, profit target and even he, he even came this way and it came shot back down all the way here such a great trade that would have been and then it comes it comes back down here it kind of doesn't break it so this is I wouldn't call this a breakout this definitely is a breakout uh, from this consolidation zone right here let's lessen this thing right here this consolidation zone right here breaks out does not come back here now remember the bigger the candle the less likely it's gonna come down here but you're gonna have to look for different another place for you to take that trade now in this case it would be here so it came up here created a resistance area see right here it's going back and forth for about you know uh, half an hour it came back here now let's just draw this little box right here so you can illustrate it and when it did that it came and retraced back here and you can check a trade right at this retrace and boom it just shot up right here 19 all the way you know another 20 ticks right there okay so that's pretty much how you trade outside of the consolidation zone and breakouts and how you use support and resistance. Now I want to have a lot more videos in terms of how you can trade support and resistance. And what you're going to see is a lot of really neat areas where you can take a trade, um, especially uh, being able to provision and uh, place proper areas in terms of profit targets and stop losses um, here as well. Like. Uh, the uh, price now remember also the moving average acts as an elastic, the price acts as an elastic band towards the moving average so if the price deviates away from the moving average too much then um sorry i was just checking if i was recording okay i am recording great um then you can take trades off of um the fact that look it's deviated a lot from there um and especially when it comes down back up to this area of high, uh this high and and it shows a wick like that and it shows a bearish candle especially two or three of them then you know that this is going to come back down and they're going to go deviate away uh deviate again from the moving average this time from the downside now that's going to be from a different video but hopefully the breakout video helps you uh in your trading if you're actually looking for a way to, to gain an edge in your trading but my main focus in terms of price action trading is is support and resistance now i can't wait to take you through the markets um and how to trade support and resistance that's going to be a very interesting topic and i want to see a lot of people really understand how to trade this this type of market especially with support and resistance um so anyways that's that if you like that video and if you liked um and if that if you actually learned something from it then definitely give me a like uh give this video a like uh give this uh and please subscribe i'm gonna have a lot more content a lot of stuff for you guys to learn um and i can't wait to see all the comments uh, of people that are actually using the strategies that we're showing you guys um anyways um happy trading and uh um, have yourself a great day.